Ugh, I'm getting tired of watching this fake Starfield release date countdown. You know what? I heard that there's a new Fallout 76 expansion thing, The Pit, which takes you to post-apocalyptic Pittsburgh in USA. I like Fallout, and I like the original The Pit DLC for Fallout 3. Let's play Fallout 76. Haha, <laughs> the Atom Shop. Good one, Todd. You may be able to get the other Fallout 76s to part with their hard-earned atoms, but your tricks won't work with me. A mole rat generator? Mole rat powered power? Only 900 atoms? What a steal! <coughs> okay. I began my journey of pain and suffering with answering the call to head to White Springs Resort. Apparently, a group of responders, Fallout 76's version of the Minutemen, had set up shop at the resort. They were offering free rides on their vertibird to a location outside of Appalachia, known as The Pit. Please sir, may I have one free ride on the vertibird? Sorry to put you on the spot, kid. What? You gotta earn the rite of passage? Ugh, fine, I'll cook your soup. Turned out that I needed to perform menial tasks in order to obtain ultracell batteries that power the vertibird. The owner of the White Springs Resort had an unlimited supply of them, but only gives them to worthy warriors who have earned them in battle. And what keeps her in the air are those ultracite cells Orlando keeps locked up. So, that's the deal. I was confronted with three trials. Cook some stew. Burn stew. Find some medical information in an old school, and gather 50 pieces of scrap metal to further the responder's cause. It was going to be a long, arduous journey, and I'm done. Amazing. Thank you Once so I had completed my chores and received my batteries, it was off to the pit. From there I had two choices, two different locations with different objectives. I chose one and landed. The pit was a fantastic place filled with smog and orange hues. It was a far cry from the soft greens and yellows of Appalachia with its toxic valley and scorched hillsides. Compared to Fallout 3's The Pit, Fallout 76's The Pit felt a bit lifeless and abandoned, although visually impressive. To be fair, this one is set many years before 3's, so perhaps that is to be expected. Calling The Pit home were two groups a gang of raiders known as the Fanatics, and a group of settler-like inhabitants named the Union. So once in the pit, I located my informant, Hex, a Union member, who told me about a guy who wanted to blow up some supplies being held by the Fanatics. I agreed to provide protection for him, and so as he went about rigging the supplies to blow, I fought the raiders and their angry robots. After blowing up the supplies, I headed back to the Union's HQ and got the lay of the land. Once again I spoke to Hex and was informed that my next assignment would be to infiltrate a place known as the Foundry. The Foundry was a massive factory warehouse for making steel. It was being used by the Fanatics as a base to launch their attacks on the Union and kidnap people for manual labour. I was to enter the Foundry, stop the Fanatics and reclaim supplies for the Union. Armed with my trusty plasma cutter, I entered the foundry. I fought through hordes of fanatical fanatics. They wore pretty cool looking armor and were equipped with assault rifles, machine guns, missile launchers, and baseball bats. The building itself was a bit of a maze. It consisted of various levels and sections separated by factory walls. Catwalks and maintenance passages connected the different rooms together. There was the main fire pit room, which was a vast space housing large molten smelting containers. Also, there were assembly floors and a chemical testing laboratory, to name just a few. I was searching for two dead drops, as well as iron ingots and union supplies. The dead drops were quite easy to find as they were being tracked and I could hear a beeping sound whenever I got close to them. The steel ingots and the supplies were a little harder to spot and took some searching to locate. Once I had found the dead drops, Hex contacted me to tell me the fanatic sinister plan. They were using the foundry's equipment to manufacture chemical weapons. My task was to enter the chemical lab and sabotage their operation. To achieve this, I had to find several chemical contaminants, sealing agents and unstable mixtures from around the factory to put into their systems and mess up production. I had gathered my materials and one by one sabotaged the equipment. Once fully sabotaged, 
I gathered my last ingot and got the heck out of there, if you will pardon my language. Outside the foundry, things went to to heck in a handbasket. Turns out that all that sabotaging brought out the trogs. The pit had become overrun with mutant creatures, and they were angry. I fought my way back to the Union base, and once inside, had to fight a bunch of trogs to defend the base. The battle was legendary. Some annoying NPC thought it was a good idea to keep throwing grenades at me. After surviving the bombardment and defeating the giant trog, the little trogs ran away. I got debriefed by Hex and delivered the supplies to Wicker. Then it was time for me to head home to Appalachia. I left the Union base and walked back to the Vertibird. Along the way, I bumped into a friendly trog and made a lifelong friend. I took one last look at the pit and after a short ride was back at the White Springs Resort. I collected the expedition rewards and received this amazing decapitated doll head backpack bling. Just the thing I wanted to help me sleep peacefully at night. Overall, it was an experience. I'm just happy to know that the good people of the pit have been saved from the murderous raiders once and for all. Or at least until I decide to start the expedition and do it all again. Thanks for watching. Huh. Another traveler on the road of life. <laughs>